Well, the trial of State Trooper Brian North continues this morning, and today we're expecting to hear closing arguments followed by jury instructions. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones live in our studio this morning to break down what we know going into day eight of this trial. Marcy. That's right. Good morning. Well, it's hard to believe, but it's entirely possible that the case could be in the hands of the jury by the afternoon for deliberations. However, before that, the state says it has one rebuttal witness. In court yesterday, we've learned that the defense is two expert witnesses were originally hired by the state. Professor Paul Taylor, one of the defense's final two witnesses, was first contacted by a previous prosecutor to analyze evidence related to the 2020 officer-involved shooting death of Mubarak Suleiman. Taylor and another former police officer were asked to produce reports for the state as to their opinion of whether or not Trooper Brian North's actions that January 9th were justified. However, Judge Hall ruled that jurors would not learn the two were originally consulted for the state and specify that they could provide testimony but not offer their opinion as to whether North's actions were reasonable. Meanwhile, Inspector General Devlin claims that North has changed his story over time several times and previously suggested the manslaughter charge. Both attorneys have been told to prepare closing arguments and jury instructions. This, of course, will follow the state's rebuttal witness. In, this, in the studio, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.